Um, so I come from a clinical background as a physician and um, I think most of us, especially those of us interested in neurology, have heard of Queen Square as being the birthplace of modern neurology and uh, that's what first got me interested in the uh, Institute of Neurology here. Uh, even now the Institute of Neurology has a world famous reputation for being one of the leading centres for neurology research in the world. Um, and of course it's also backed by UCL which is one of the most prestigious universities in the country. So uh, those are the sort of academic factors that led me to apply here as my first choice for my PhD. Uh, yes, so I think it surpassed my expectations actually. Uh, because although the Institute of Neurology is a world famous institute, actually most of it uh, um, takes place in the uh, Queen Square itself and it's very homely and welcoming because of being in such a small space. And I found that everyone here, from the education unit staff to the uh, computing staff to the administrative staff and my supervisors were all uh, very welcoming and friendly in helping me get settled. So that made a big difference to how much I enjoyed it and uh, how much I found it uh, not a daunting experience. I think what I've enjoyed the most is the variety and the diversity of activities that I can undertake during the PhD. So uh, even within the research itself, there were a number of different projects that uh, I've been dabbling in and collaborating with uh, within my department and also with uh, international collaborators as well. And then outside research, there's been plenty of opportunities here uh, to get involved in teaching particularly. So this is from teaching medical students uh, in uh, bedside tutorials or uh, lectures and also elective students and uh, also some of the uh, SHOs uh, who work in the hospital and then I've been involved with the Queen Square Student Committee over the last two years and that, that's been uh, very uh, interesting uh, in terms of planning social events and also planning the Queen Square Student Symposium which is a student run uh, event where we display our work during the PhD or the, or the master's course. Um, so all in all, there's actually a lot of different things that people can get involved in should they choose to. And I think that's, that's the most interesting aspect for me, certainly. Uh, so, so London's an amazing city, as I'm sure most of you will know. Um, I've, I've loved being here. Just, just in the last few months, for example, I've been canoeing down the Thames or uh, seeing an opera at the Royal Opera House or strolling down the South Bank and seeing street performers or uh, dining at some you know, uh, world famous restaurants. So uh, all in all, there's, there's plenty of things to do in London. Uh, I suppose the drawbacks would be that it's quite expensive to live in um, and that it, well, tra transport particularly is a bit of a problem. Uh, no Londoner will um, tell you good things about the London Underground. Uh, but I think that's a small price to pay to be in one of the uh, most uh, exciting capital cities in the world.